doing a failure analysis on this cylinder. Customer brought it in saying it would extend but not retract uh, or something has let go and it's, it's just a big jammed mess. Um, I'll show you why we also know something is wrong. Uh, we're going to cut a window in here, see what we can see. Another reason you can tell something is wrong on a hydraulic cylinder is when you put air in this end instead of it extending oil comes out that end there that's not a good sign All right, so that tells me something is very wrong there All right. because putting air in here which is a bit dangerous for cylinders should actually extend that rod but it's not extending it's just emptying all the oil that's in it So while I was cutting here, as I got to this back corner here, I was cutting through here, I actually heard something pop, like under a release of pressure. Okay, so this is the big reveal. Okay. So, there's the nut down in there. It looks like it's a, what they call a two-piece piston. So the nut actually holds the piston on. The piston has come loose. Actually, the nut has come off, come loose off the end of the, of the rod, which has allowed everything to wobble around in here. Uh, and that's why when you put oil in here, it's, it's been able to sneak through. And that's why they've been able to extend it out but not been able to retract it in. I actually had this in the breakout bench and I had two tons trying to pull it out and I couldn't pull it out. My, my breakout bench was flexing from the load of trying to literally pull this apart. So uh, I'm going to clean it up and we'll take another video of it cleaned up. So the big reveal was the dirty reveal. I kind of cleaned it all up inside. So as I said we were putting oil in here and when you put oil in here what should happen is this rod should extend. It wasn't extending oil was just pouring out of here so it was bypassing internally. We tried to force this out by putting it in our breakout bench and actually putting two tons of pull load to try and extend it out and two tons wouldn't budge it. So we decided, we got the owner's permission, we got him a replacement unit and we decided let's do a failure analysis and just see what's happened. So we've cut a window in this cylinder. Um, so these cylinders are rated for up to um, 3000 psi working pressure. As you can see, the the wall thickness of the steel is, you know, it's around sort of five sixteenths, you know, seven between six and eight millimeters. And I've cleaned this up because it was full of grinding dust. So there's the chrome rod that extends out that end, and as you follow it down, you see the piston, and then you see the piston seals, and then you see another seal, and you see some threads. That's not blood, that's just remnants of some type of thread sealant or Loctite. There's the nut down there, there's the end of the rod. So the big nut gets screwed on there, and it actually this, this will actually close up, and the seals can then do their job. But if the nut comes loose for whatever reason, everything starts to wobble and carry on. There's the nut down there. You can see it. It's kind of jammed and banged up a little bit. 
Um, and that's jam. It's jammed everything in there. Um, I remember as I was cutting this window, as I came to cut through this area here where the pistons were, I actually physically heard it pop out because everything was under a lot of tension. Um, we may be able to pull that apart now, now that we've taken some of the stress off it, but highly unlikely because you can see that that nut and what's left of the, the nylon, there's probably a nylon nut. You can see the nylon, that yellow part there on the nut is the nylon nut. Uh, it's all jammed and mangled. Um, if you look at the internals here, I'm not sure if it'll show up in the camera, but you can see where the force is that ring. You know, there's that ring there where the pistons just got totally jammed up in the bore from a side load and the buckling when the when the rod end went over the nut and tried to force itself to move in an unnatural position. Uh, anyway, hope this is some some interest to you guys. Uh, I've always wanted to do a bit more of a failure analysis when something doesn't come apart. Normally we just throw them out, but I thought just for a chance uh, we'd pull this apart. Um, this is where the guys put it on the floor vise and actually tried to undo the gland nut with a big pipe wrench or Stilson's. Uh, they got about three turns out of it before it just totally jammed up. As you can see the teeth on the Stilson's did a number on that. Um, we should have put it in the breakout bench but I think even the breakout bench would have been a waste of time. So even though the pistons are now I'm not sure, but possibly could be an illusion because of the way I cut the hole, but it seems to me that the rod's actually bent. Um, so it may have actually picked up on the gland nut. Because uh, I've hit that with a hammer quite hard and it's not going anywhere because nothing.